I'm going to start with an initialized patch again, and we're going to look at the unison mode in this video. So back to layer A, we have this single waveform. And I'm going to press the unison button here to get into the oscillator zoom in unison mode. Now, this is used to thicken up a sound by triggering additional oscillators that are slightly detuned. And all of these controls pertain to these additionally triggered oscillators. So let me play you a little bass part with this simple raw wavetable. And it's going to sound fairly bland as is. Now, as soon as I turn on unison mode, you'll automatically hear a thickening effect. So what's going on here? Well, we have the depth slider, and this controls the amount of unison voices that are added, the number of voices. And we can go up to a maximum of eight. So as I move this up, you'll hear additional oscillators, and you'll hear it get thicker. And you can see a representation of what's happening there. The spread control controls the extent of the stereo imaging, the panning of these additional oscillators. And here it's in full stereo mode. That's mono. So we can spread them along the stereo spectrum. And the octave control here specifies at which octave the unison voices are going to sound. And we have a range of plus or minus two octaves. So bear in mind, this doesn't transpose the main oscillator on the layer, our regular wavetable. It's just transposing the additionally triggered voices. So right away, just with these simple adjustments, we're getting a more interesting bass line. Now, additionally, we have a detune slider, and this determines the degree of detuning applied to these unison voices. And again, it doesn't affect the pitch of the original oscillator, just the detuned voices that are added. So you can get pretty out of tune. You can maybe go something like that and then increase the release time on the amp envelope. You can get a nice pad sound. Maybe put a filter on. Just one idea. I'll leave the filter on for now, but let's bring the release back down and go back into the unison mode controls. So that detunes the oscillators. We have finer coarse adjustments, and this determines the range of this. Here it'll be up to a range of one semitone. And this transposes it all the way up to an octave. And you can hold the pitch and drag the slider to get that sort of THX effect where we hear the pitch transition between the different values. And we can also control the phase of these oscillators from out of phase here to in phase and various steps in between. So let's hear what this sounds like with our bass line. So we're getting somewhere now. Now the analog slider, it's like we've seen in the main synth page controls. This slider introduces inconsistencies in the pitch and phase and the negative values offset the phase, which is actually kind of interesting. You get a more centered sound like that. And positive values will introduce pitch offsets as well. I don't think we want much of that because we've already got some detuning going on. And the drift control simulates the pitch movement that occurs in analog synthesizers. So it controls how much the unison voices are going to drift from the main oscillator. It adds kind of random pitch offsets. So that's unison mode. See if more in the next video.